Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming. I don't know why the camera's zooming out there. Um, <laughs> where to, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be playing some more of the Thaumaturge. Now, we are investigating the death of young Ludwig Krajewski, at, possibly at the hands of our cousin Petra. It doesn't, I don't feel like that's the case, but I do feel like there's some kind of weird thing going on with the floor and circumstances of the death. So let's find out a bit more. We're at the Lock, Stock and Barrel Bar. We found a book of matches in Petch's flat relating to one of the waitresses who works in here. So let's check it out. Now, we were in here when we were talking to the Cossacks before, I think. Um, it looks like there's some a couple of things to discover here. Grisia's apron. An apron with the name Christina embroidered on it. Warmth and love twist between the arches of the embroidered letters. A woman embroidered them, contemplating her beloved waiting for her at home. The chill of the back room permeates her bones, but the memory of tender touch and loving eyes wraps around her thoughts like fluffy blankets. Mm -hmm. Or Hanya's apron. An apron with the name Hannah. So Hannah was uh, Ludwig's fiancé. We know that. Uh, tension is another thread in the linen fabric of the apron. Nervous impulses run through the material. Being so close to the body, it has taken over the stress, pulsating from the violent movements of its owner. Hmm. A tear on the apron. It seems that Hanya is the witness I'm looking for. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we kind of got that sense anyway, her being the fiancé. Um, got the bartender we could talk to. I'll just do a little sweep around the room, just in case. Don't think we can go upstairs. Oop, stuck on a chair. What's going on with this guy? Oh, not much. It looked like he was, from, from this angle, or this zoom, it would look like he had a weird mask on. I think he's just got red eyes. Okay. Beer. Let, I'm not going to mock him. Let's ask about Hanya. I'd like to ask about Hanya. Hey, Zdenek, there's a stalker here asking about Hanya. Grab your buddies and get him to stop bothering her. I'm not a stalker, I'm a wizard. <laughs> okay, well, what do we got? Well, he's got basically no focus. Um, so we could do that, or we could just do the Lelex skill that does two damage. Might be a quicker way of doing that. Uh, then we've got Lelek and up here. So that's negative states. That's a heal. Okay. Uh, I think we'll dive in. And I'm going to summon Lelek first, I think. I'll have a look. So yeah, so this is going to get rid of his focus. That does two damage, or it should do. Uh, and that is going before him. I think it's also my follow-up. I'll do a big punch and then maybe I can do a like a focus attack on him sort of thing to finish him off. Shout his ear. Oh. Ooh, nice. Double double damage. Okay, well, yeah, I mean we'll do that attack. It seems it Seems about necessary now to be honest. Uh but yeah, sure. Uh this guy um, why don't we take down this guy? Oh, team counterattack. The first attack on this target incurs a counterattack. No, no, we'll do this one first then. So, Ledek, if you would like to annoy this person again. Um, we could interrupt his attack, or we could give him the... Ah, oh, that's only one damage. Let's see if we can interrupt his attack. Oof. Now, if I do that as well, he'll lose all his focus. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, so we, I could do that. That's going to do quite a bit. What, what else have we got in terms of finishes? So we've got... Inflict, inflicts damage. Launches an attack on a random enemy. I mean, there's a chance of that being a kill. What else have we got? So, Book of Arch. We'll do that and cast Suffering on the next guy. Is he protected from negative states? He is. There's probably not much point doing that. Uh, restore health to me while doing a big attack. That's probably it. And then me and Opa will double team this guy. 
<laughs> so to speak. Bip. Oh. Ow. Kind of want to do a Lelek attack on him now. But we're going to have to do an up here attack first. So, might as well just do, might as well do the heal. Um, he's going to attack again, annoyingly. Um, I guess I'll do a quick attack. Bit. Now, I want to give him all those negative states. So I need to wait until Upa's attacked. Um, it's not in suffering. He's insufferable. I want to fear. That's it. Good boy. Bip. Ow. I mean, he's only got 15, I suppose, but I wonder if Lelet can do his uh, condition transfer thing. Can. It's after the attack. Well, that's, that's not too bad, is it? And I'll... I'll follow that with a big smack in his face. Ow! Here, have some negative states. And a punch in the stomach. He's probably dead now. But There's probably an easy way of doing that, but... What's going on here? I've just come to work fine. to find all this hustle and bustle. The boss said you asked about me. What is it? Miss Hanya, I'm Victor. The guy fell off a balcony at the Imperial Hotel. You were there when Ludwig died, weren't you? I remember no such thing. Lies. I know you went out with Ludwig. It must have been devastating for you. Once again, I don't know anything. If these drunks here were still standing straight, you'd be sorry. Leave me alone. Never. Uh, okay. So it's taken away his exclamation mark now. I, I wondered if we had to talk to him again because it looked like for a second like it was there. What do we got? Postcard from Lutz, signed Love Ludwig. The woman sees Ludwig's signature and recalls an identical one on the dreaded document. Hmm. The letters seem to detach themselves from the paper and circle overhead like vultures. Every glance at the tragic contract causes panic. So the woman persists in her impotence, unable to make a move. I have no idea what's going on with this Hanya, I must admit. Ludwig had signed some sort of document before he died. I think, yeah, he did. I'm wondering if it's life insurance? And Hanya, the waitress, knows where it is. I sense she would like to be rid of it and get everything over with. I just have to work on her a little bit. Okay, I guess we probably go... Oh, hello. Oh, Bukovac. What do you want to do? Once again, I don't know anything. Um... Quiet Hannah's hesitation and have a hand over the contract. Holding yes. on to that contract weighs heavily on you. It's unbearable, isn't it? It causes you great pain. Your misery will disappear if you give it to me. You will get your... But he says that to all the ladies. I can't take it anymore. I can't. It reminds me of what I don't want to remember. I'll give it to you. Here, their contract. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll work down these. What really happened? Tell me, what really happened that day? Ludwig and Pietia were both drunk and made a bet. If Ludwig walked on a railing, Pietia would pay him. A lot. Ludwig was confident. <laughs> he teetered and... Uh, why didn't you destroy it? Why didn't you get rid of the contract? You could have destroyed it. I wanted to, but I was afraid Pietia would send someone after me to save himself. The contract is proof of his guilt. But it was my idea for them to sign it. The Krajewskis could use some money. We could have gotten married, gotten away. It doesn't matter now. Take it. Okay. Uh, just go, I suppose. Anya, quit chatting. There's beer to be sold. I hope you'll use this contract wisely. What do you mean? Pietia deserves to suffer after what he did. 
Hmm. He dared the guy to basically kill himself, so... Uh, I think we go and uh, do the floor thing, don't we, before we speak to Voronin. Probably best to go this way. Back to the hotel, I reckon. Let's go, to, let's go confront Petra then. Oh, there's something down here though. What have we got? Newspaper. Today's newspaper. A few pages are torn. There's a glimmer of rage between the scribbles of letters and the outlines of drawings. The eyes read the words, but the thoughts revolve around young master Voronin, who has been throwing his weight around at the hotel, causing nothing but losses. If only there was a way to get him back without being fired. Hmm. Is there something else relating to that here? Profit and loss account. The notebook's covers pulsate with frustration. Numbers show the brutal truth. Important guests cancel their stays. The balance achieved is negative and the day's hard work goes to waste. Grains of sand shift in the hourglass and the currency of effort is thrown to the hogs. Cousin's been making a nuisance of himself. Petra's presence has an adverse effect on the concierge. I need to put the idea in his head that Anna uh, Zarnikovna is the perfect opportunity to vex young Voronin, so he should let her in. Yeah. Yeah, that'll that'll get things spiced up. Oh, Lelik's there as well. Mr. Shulsky, can I help you? Stir in the concierge's suppressed aversion to Petra. Think about it. This lady can get away with doing a lot more to hotel guests than you ever could. Remember, she would only make life miserable for Pietia. Well, that's true. I hope the young master is happy to see you. That's incredible. Thank you. I will go bring that bastard to his senses. Please join me. It will be quite the spectacle. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> He's got a bit of comeuppance coming his way, Petra, by the sound of it. Ah, I'm stuck on a chair. Such is the way of things. Do, 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 do. I think we've stirred the pot quite well, probably. Hello, cousin. You let her in? Are you out of your mind? You should ask yourself that question. Don't act like a brat. You're going to be a father. Get out of here. I told you I would pay. Leave me alone. I hope life teaches you a lesson someday. Why are you standing like that? Yeah, let's see what I you've got going on, cousin. Interesting in you, cousin. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, well, let's go. We'll do. We'll work down the list, I think. Aren't you ashamed to turn Anna away like that? Is that how your father raised you? Nobody asked for your advice. You'll enjoy yourself while she's dispossessed. She'll end up in the streets, together with your child. Two lives in one blow. Well done. What was a poor man like Ludwig doing with a rich bachelor like you? Don't say that. I did him a favor by buying a new life for him. A prince meaning over a pariah. Wasn't that right? I made his life better. Why did you come back? To harass me? Your father should have drowned you rather than send you to Paris. Soon you will be free and you will take it all back. Uh, 
Selfishness, huh? Okay, let's do this one. We found the contract you signed with Ludwig before he fell. So Hanya told you everything? Maybe that's for the best. I don't care what you do with it. I don't want to see that piece of paper. I hung around with Ludwig just for show, to be honest. He didn't deserve it. Are you all right? Yes. I haven't felt this good in a long time. It's like someone lifted a shroud from my head. I was a little harsh on you. Don't mention it. Although, if you want to make it up to me... Then? I know a girl who is waiting for your apology. Damn. Anna. Okay, all right, well... I mean, they are struggling for money and they've got medical bills. Maybe I... Oh, I'm going out to the balcony. I don't really want to be here. Uh, maybe we will ask them to take his money. Because, like, they need it, don't they? So, they might be too proud to take it, but... You know, if his wife is uh, suffering, then... Um, I'm sure the money would help. And Petcher is... Uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if he's... I don't know. He's maybe he's indirectly responsible, I guess I would say. I would say he's culpable uh, for Ludwig's death, but perhaps not fully responsible. Because, I mean, he didn't... It's not like he pushed the guy or anything, but he he did kind of incentivize him to endanger his own life, so... And he should, uh, he should pay in some way for that. I guess, what would you call it? Um... It's not really, it's not even really manslaughter, is it? It's, I don't know. It's probably like a, like a third or fourth degree murder or something. I don't even know. Anyway. What now, sir? I think we tell him. I bring you the sad truth, but I believe Ludwig deserves it. Your son was supposed to walk on the railing to win money from Pietia. Jesus, I told him. I kept telling him it wasn't the right company to keep. I told him. You should have it. This is the proof of Pietia's guilt. Oh my God. What am I to do with it? Can I ask you why you are doing all this? I've got my reasons. I'll be going. Thank you for telling me this, Mr. Shulski. All right, well, I think they'll use that to get the money, probably. Um, and I do apologize if you can hear the dog barking in the background. My wife's doing some work with, uh, uh, like, a, a power washer in the garden, and it's driving the dog absolutely nuts. He doesn't like the hoover, either. If we hoover the house, he, um, he loses his mind. Um, so I do apologize. I mean, I've been trying to pause, like, while the characters are talking to minimize it, but... I kind of don't want to be silenced for the rest of the episode either. So let's go to Southern Srodmysia. Why wouldn't it... Oh, what? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> it wouldn't let me go there because I am there. Fair enough. Um, I guess we've got to go and see Voronin somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. It might be taking me to a bench to kill some time. Oh. Is Voronin at the police station? Maybe he is. Maybe he works here. It did say he was a judge, didn't it? I think the newspaper report. Uh, so we could read this. Stanislav's obituary. Uh, I think we'd have already seen that. We did get more XP for it. Um, I think I'm just having, having a look around. There's stuff to investigate here. Orders. During the time of our gracious Tsar of all Russia's visit to Warsaw, it is necessary to enhance the sense of security. Therefore, I ordain that the number of patrols must be doubled. All station chiefs are required to comply with the order immediately. Okay. What is? Ah, oh, that's Voronin's office, so that's probably where we go. Let's just, um, let's have a little nose around the rest of the police station before we go in there. 
wanted notice to all police de- uh, station chiefs of Warsaw, beware of hmm, Obritsi Niedzic, leader of the Shivs gang, that's our friend. Um, distinctive marks, dark circles under his eyes, signifying exceptional anger. Ah, okay, he's in trouble. Wanted list, uh, 1002, Maria Bukova. Uh, okay. Who else have we got? Don't know him. And Newdorf Isaac? Mm, I don't know him either. Yet, I suppose. I suppose we might um, find them at some point. What have we got here? Note! When recruiting for the gendarmerie, it is recommended to reject the following candidates immediately. Persons related to rebels and troublemakers, Jews, thaumaturges. Any deviation from these instructions must be very well argued. Oh dear. I suppose it wasn't a time of great toler- uh, you know, tolerance, so... Yeah. Okay, let's go and, uh, see Vodanin then. Uh, let's have a look at his stuff first. Official letter. Dear investigating judge, in response to your inquiry regarding progress in the fisherman case, I can inform you that there is none. It is handled by our man Pelyavin, and so far without much success. Fortunately, the murders are limited to Pavishla, where the expendable human elements are in plenty. Yours sincerely, Yegor Mashek. Unfinished document. Dear Mr. Mashek, I have no idea in what circumstances you have lost your moral fibre, but I suggest you find it as quickly as you can. Expendable human elements? Do you have no shame? There is a murderer on the prowl in Pavishla who is killing people in a particularly violent and terrifying manner. And you tried to comfort me by saying it's no harm because the victims are poor? Perhaps your high salary has made you lose your mind. Maybe I should pull some strings to lower it. What would you say to that? The uncle isn't, isn't impressed with his callous underling. Evaluation. Sergeant Kalash. When someone asks me about Sergeant Kalash's work, there is only one word that comes to my mind. Farce. Even aside from that embarrassing arm shipment robbery, I must say that Kadash is an absolute dilettante and a disgrace to our forces. He is the kind of man who uses his elbow to stir soup. Uh, what does that mean? Incompetent, maybe? That's all I have to say about it. Okay, well, let's talk to, let's talk to Uncle. Hello, Uncle. What brings you here? We need to talk about Pietia. Great. Yes, you know what? Let's start walking again. It's kind of stuffy here, you know. And on the bench, I'll be able to think straight about what you're saying. Well, shoot, boy. No matter how much it hurts. Uh, yeah, let's give him, let's give him straight up. Ludwig and Pietia got drunk and they made a bet. Ludwig had to walk on the railing for a large sum of money from Pietia. We know how it ended. Pietia. Pietia. What have you done? I told the Krajewskis about it. I thought they should know the truth. I suppose they go to the press now. Don't get me wrong. It's a good thing they know. I'm glad they know the truth. By the way, congratulations. Well, you'll soon be a grandfather, <laughs> Uncle. Congratulations. So, my son will have an illegitimate child. Who is the poor girl? The important thing is he wants to take care of her. He's taking responsibility. Responsibility. Damn it, Victor. He should have thought that before. Is there anything else? That's all, Uncle. Thank you for taking care of that matter. I believe that if your younger self had that kind of support, your life could have been different. Tell me, what will happen to Pietia now? He will, as you said, take responsibility and marry the mother of his child. I will make him, if I have to. I am glad the Krajewskis heard the truth from you. I'm proud of you, and Stasia would be too. I'm not sure about that, but I accept the compliment. It's getting late. I'll take a walk and think. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Hmm. Okay. 
moderately satisfying ending, I suppose. Right, what else have we got on our list? So I'm by the station right now at this minute, so I think perhaps I just wait for the daytime. And then we'll get this last little uh, side objective off our, off our list. I think I'm by the station. It's here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, there's a place of respite just up here, so we'll go do that. Let me rest. I don't know, I guess noon. We don't want to be there, like, first Let's thing. Wait until... Uh... But in, it just said in the day, so, so I reckon I noon will probably be a decent time. Sometime. Right, so he's probably not too far. Oh, is this him? Nothing can lift your mood like a good story, especially when mine appears to have been written by a mad and cruel demigod. Wow, we just listen to the old guys tell their stories. And why not, huh? So all we so I mean I guess we we're gonna do the Svetlana thing next. Okay. Um I guess we go to get Svetlana to be honest. Um Because yeah. We haven't really got anything else that's uh that's on our in our books at the moment. We've cleared it we've cleared everything that we currently can, so that's good news. I guess she's probably in her apartment. It's been so long since we did this. I don't actually know why we're getting her. It's, it's something to do with our dad, I guess, isn't it? And is uh, someone wanted to meet him, but I can't remember who. Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? It's your tsunami. Clear the throat. <clears throat> Gotta shut the door. Garbage blew in. Uh, sorry if the audio was a bit weird there for a couple of minutes. I didn't realise I'd stowed my microphone. It, <laughs> I paused the game while the, uh, the dog uh, stopped barking. Um, okay. Okay, so there's a focus thing. That's a, We could probably do that focus anyway with Lelek. That's Lelek. And he doesn't have one. I don't like their double barrel shotguns. A bit scary. Uh, but okay, let's start the fight with Lelek, and then I think we finish this guy. Lelek, do your two. I mean, having being able to transfer the states. Actually, no, he's going before anyone, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to meanwhile... What's he? There's a focusing, so we could probably focus him. So maybe what I'll do is put a... Uh, I mean, if I, if I get double damage on this, it could be a kill, potentially, so... Annoy him. That's it. Nah, damn it. Okay, well, he can be... He's going to end up on one health, isn't he? Let's let's see if we get, if we get a kill. Um, hopefully he does. Who, who was Lelek's thing? It's this uh, instigator... Uh, I'd quite like to get rid of this guy as well with another focus thing though, so let's switch to Book of Arch on this guy. Um, and now he has a focus thing going on. No one's in suffering, so I think we just do a quick attack. Ba pow Boy, oh, he's on one I knew he'd end up on one health. It was, a, it was a coin flip, but I just knew it would happen. Ow! Uh, he got his focus back annoyingly. Uh, but he's only on one health, so like, yeah, quick attack. Bye-bye. Um, this guy, meanwhile, uh, maybe we'll get Lelek on again? And we'll... Yeah, we'll do that. Pow! pow Ow. Though it's going to take his focus, um, so maybe... 
Yeah, okay. Okay, so this dude, so I can clean him out with a special move. This one needs, oh, it's another Lelic one, so. Uh, what do we just get Lelic to, to annoy him again? Uh, just do a quick one. Ow! Do the bit of healing, I might get Velez out. It's very slowly wearing me down. Uh, Alright, so let's let's switch to good old Velez then. Uh, what's he got? 50%, I mean, it's not a kill. But it's a 50% chance of interrupting. I kind of want the healing. We put a big heal on this guy, yeah. Got it. Uh, and then I could probably. Hmm. I'll do a quick attack. Ow! I think I'll just. I think I'll just give this guy a quick punch again. To be honest. <laughs> Hello, Velez. Oh, yeah, nice, nice heal. Did he not die? How did I only do two damage to him? Did his, did his thing wear off? Oh, he's got this thing come up. Oh, man, that's annoying. Uh, okay, well, why don't we do that to you? And this guy, uh, let's see if we can get extra damage on him. Uh, assuming, yeah, I mean, if we do this, then then Velez is definitely a kill. <laughs> oh, the dog's the dog was quiet for ages. Now it started up again. <laughs> right, let's have a little look see at this then, shall we? Attacker's wallet. In the wallet of one of the attackers, I found the ID of an Akrana officer. Oh dear, we're messing with the Akrana now. I may be able to use the document for my own purposes. Interesting. Attacker's hat. Threadbare but clean. The hat smells of a freshly printed tabloid. It boils with curiosity about the Sofia Scallon scandal. Because, after all, might Rumyantseva reveal a tidbit of information during the interrogation? Information that could be passed on to Governor General Scallon and thus garner his favour. Hmm. Trying their luck with Svetlana, I think. Trying to... Bring out some information about Sofia. Anything over here? It's probably in that bedroom. Bundle of letters from the Russian ambassador in Vienna. They contain criticism of the Empire. Uh, the letters are covered with the hoarfrost of cold calculations. Its flowers blossom in a pattern on the sheets of paper, expressing a thought as clear as a shard of ice. Hand over the letters to a superior. Put a noose around the traitor's neck. Accept a promotion. Be appreciated for once. The Akrana officers came for Sofia Scallon, but stayed because of Svetlana's letters. Showing the correspondence to the authorities would have meant the noose for the aristocrat, bringing the officers one step closer to their coveted promotions. As long as they kept climbing their career ladder, the cost didn't matter. Lovely chaps. Kind of what you expect from the secret police, though, I suppose. All right, let's talk to uh, Svetlana then. No, what do you If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment. Leave me. Why are the Yohana after you? Evidently, they got tired of sending threatening letters. Or maybe it's because my last soirée ended with a scandal about the Governor General's daughter. I Tee -hee. think they're looking for someone to blame. But you had nothing to do with what happened to Sofia. I know. But how can you be sure? Truth be told... Yeah, Victor. 
There was a wild salutar at the party. Anyway, if I hadn't caught him, then Samira... Your father was right about you. Don't you dare! No, don't you dare! You're the one who caused this trouble, so you're going to arrange my safe transportation to Vienna. Is that clear? Yes. Good. And now forgive me, but I have no intention of staying here a moment longer. Where may I await your return? At the Nadarzyjskis. Perfect. Can we oh yeah, meet that was right. Rasputin wants to meet her. Come on, I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, my travel chest. I never go anywhere without it. She's got to go back. It feel safer if you rode with me to the Nadarzyjskis. If I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where our friendship was born and more than one hope died, where the gods of chaos lounge amid the absinthe fume. Что? I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please. Okay, we've got to go and talk to Britzi. I can't remember what map that's on. Is it this one or another one? Ah, that is this one. He's just up the road. Cool. There we go. I helped out his friends earlier as well, so maybe he's going to be quite well disposed towards us. Oh, but it's he. A few days, Mr. Digits. A few days. You see this guy? M Mr. Digits, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Makoto Freight Track. I I'll win. Deal? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. Have we still got blood stains you on his collar? Tired. Want a coffee? Whenever I see you, you torturing somebody. Is there something you want to talk about? Don't you psychoanalyze me. Just tell me if you want coffee. Yeah, go on him. Always glad for a coffee. Can I interrupt you for a second? I'm in a rush. I'm just sorting something out with this cow face here who doesn't pay on time. Where should we start? Teeth or knees? Please, don't let him. I only owe 12 rubles. Eh, it's not my job to pay his debts. You'll make it up to me. Every kopieka. Yes, I, I will pay it all. Thank you, Mr. Nijit. We're not saying goodbye yet. The boys will take you to stage two of our little chat. Get him out of here. So, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? Black, strong, no sugar. Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. Well, I was thinking we'd just go to the train exactly. station, buy a ticket, but I guess that makes exactly. more sense. Um, yeah. I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Find him. Um, although, finding him might be tricky. What kind of name is that? Argentinian? Spanish? Who the hell knows? Maybe he had a sailor for a dad. You know anything more about this Javier fellow? He's a legend. He smuggled socialists, contraband. Recently, he had seven kilos of TNT inside biographies on Skowon. Why is he so hard to find? Because he's the best at what he does. You know where I can find him? 
Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. There are rumors going around that Javier's staying on one of the boats on the river. It's called the Malenka. I'd start there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back from your travels? Yes, as it happens. A rather unique neighborhood. Fishermen, porters, and craftsmen, all trying to make ends meet. Is that all you've noticed? More or less. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. Your coffee. Okay, so back to Pavishla, I suppose. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Still waiting for another region on the map to open up. I'm assuming it will. Um, maybe, I mean, it did have, at the beginning it had like an Act 1 thing, I think. So maybe um, there'll be a next act and we'll move into different areas, maybe? And this might tie in with the Morgana thing, possibly? I don't know. Maybe. Interesting we kind of saw her and it was the start of that fisherman thing and then kind of like... There was there was literally nothing else <laughs> involving her in that case. I was expecting there to be like a salutor on the fisherman or something when we found them. But there was not. something going on here. Hello? Oh, Karash. He's the he's the <laughs> incompetent one, isn't he? We found a note about it in Voronin's office. E excuse me, officer. What do you mean not allowed? Sergeant Karash, folks got to work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the wharf. And what are you here for? Well, I mean, we took the uh, the uh, the ID to show to someone, so it might as well be these guys. Sergeant Karash, I'm here on official business. Of course. Boys, let this gent through. Well, ain't they all chummy? What about us? Right. Oop. Now we can get in. Now we haven't been here before, so it might be worth just a little nose around before we go onto the barge itself. If there's anything else going on around these parts? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oop. Can I get there? No, that's, uh, that's as far as I can go. Okay. There we go, the Malenka. Oh, we've got some stuff here. Let's check it out. Bloodstained bandages. The sloppily thrown aside bandages bear traces of blood. The bandages were wrapped around healthy, strong, uninjured hands and only later got soaked in blood. The blood of an opponent who got his face punched in, losing several teeth in the process. Looks like there was a struggle. I reckon this guy's been nabbed. Uh, bed. Uh, sheets bear the traces of passion, apparently. Okay, all right, fair enough. Have your snuff box with coca leaves. It's an indispensable aid that someone can't do without. One's hand is instinctively guided towards the snuff box for support before any planned physical exertion. Before a fight, when one needs a vigorous boost, or in the bedroom, when the situation calls for equally vigorous... Uh, <laughs> Stimulation. Punching bag. One, two, one, two. Drops of sweat trickle down his head, irritated by thought. Blows fall to their rhythm. Precise. Pre sorry, precision, eagerness, and the readiness to improve. Im <laughs> improvise. 
The blows struck with gloves left a clear trace on the bag. It is the force of a rushing river, the unpredictability of a flood and the joy of the first drops of spring rain. Okay. Maybe there wasn't a struggle. Scattered clothes suggest someone lives here. Clothes thrown from the shoulders like ballast lie in various nooks and crannies of the lodgings, waiting for someone to pick them up and put them on again. Dirty as crumpled as they are, whoever lives here doesn't exactly keep it spick and span. Javier has created a veritable bachelor's den for himself on the barge. This is where he lives, trains hard, celebrates victories in the company of women, or has them console him after losses. It seems that his life revolves around fighting. I should look around the neighbourhood for a sports club or a ring. Well, we did find one as a side quest, didn't we? It didn't tie into anything else at that time, but it might, um... It might now. Enough of this, Narishkit. Say who you are and what you're doing on my turf. Mm. All right. My name is Viktor Shursky. First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. Oh, hello. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a gavolt for? What do you want? Let's ask about his salutor. Your salutor? I don't know him. He's a debok. He looks around for lost souls who don't know better and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. Uh, say so we're looking for Javier. I'm looking for Javier. What for? Let's say I need his services urgently. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? Mm. It's the catch. That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. Who did you take me for earlier? Nothing of interest to you. Eternal neighborhood affairs. Well, might as well. Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafi. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon, a mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. Interesting. Another Thaumaturge, huh? Okay. Well, we're somewhere completely new, um, so I think probably I'll leave it there for now. When we come back, we'll take a proper look around this gambling den and uh, see if we can find Javier and find out what's going on in these parts. Might be something else to occupy us. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, again, apologies for the for the dog noise in the background. It was uh, it's a it's a it's Easter Monday recording this. It's a bank holiday in England, and uh, everyone's at home and makes the dog bark. <laughs> most of the time simple as that um, but anyway thanks very much hope you enjoyed it anyway if you did if you could hit the thumbs up button that'd be great um leave me a comment let me know what you thought about the episode and uh the stuff we've been looking into and the game in general always happy to hear your thoughts and if you're watching this and haven't yet subscribed to the channel would be amazing if you could so thanks very much and i hope to see you next time bye for now